Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Don't suffer your in-law. Because if you make them go through the, the, the eye of the needle, they will transfer you to your own daughter. Yes. They will transfer it. It is not consciously done, but they will do it. Then when the man remember how he said, Listen, I bought you. It's a wrong language, though. Why was he saying so? It's because your own law will buy you a motorbike. Then he will build a house for you. He will do this one. He will buy you this cloth, buy you that cloth, kill this goat. When he finish, by the time he's finished native land custom, two million is gone. You now begin to think. Then when you are coming for the wedding, he will charter vehicle so that you will carry those who are needed and those who are not needed. I told, I told her mother, I said, I don't need you just, it's on you, your son, your daughter. That's all. Nobody's coming from the village. Nobody's, oh, tell me what they're coming to do. No, tell me. If they come from Abia, what are they coming to do? Then they will quarter them in the hotel. <laughs> By the time they eat three times in three days, you will see me. We can avoid this. This is Sunday wedding. When they finish here, if they didn't invite you to where they will go, no go. The food there is calculated. My, my assignment here is to make sure marriage is done simple. On Sunday morning. Two Sundays ago, there was a wedding. There was no reception. Did you kill anybody? Did you stop the girl from marrying? So why would you go and create problem where there is no problem? Use 400,000 to decorate a hall. And use 500, 600 to hire a hall. Then use 1 million to buy food and buy drink. When the people finish wedding, nothing remains. They begin to look at themselves. Anyanya. Honeymoon is avoided because where would they go for honeymoon? For what? Look at, look at the father and mother by you say, make it simple. Let me stop here. Can I hear somebody shout hallelujah? I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. Huh. Oh, okay. I want to stop here. Please, I want to give you an assignment. Go and read Nehemiah chapter 1 and chapter 2. And you begin to see how favor operates. Nehemiah chapter 1 and chapter 2. Nehemiah, a slave boy. I'm picking all this to let you know that you can be favored. And you can enjoy favor. It was just the one that carried drink around the, 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 the palace. If he did not behave well because that is where I'm coming into. I'm coming into showing you what can provoke favor and why many of us are not enjoying favor. Mm, you don't return to choir. You will see how things will happen now. And the king looked at him Say Jeremiah, you are not you are not looking well. I like this your glass. Of. Fine girl, no pimple. When I know my me, it's my choir, it's my my, my daughters. Now, now, now the king looked at his face. I said Jeremiah, you are, Nehemiah, you are sad. What is the problem? If that guy have not behaved well before the king, he wouldn't even look at. 
Why would you look at the face of a slave? Whether the slave is sad or not. Many of us don't even look at the, our housemaid. Look at their face. Does he come here? Did you clean here? Ngozi, why you didn't? Ngozi, why is this child not clean? Ngozi, why is this one? Ngozi, what is wrong with you? Ngozi, you are stupid. Ngozi, you are a bad head. After you finish talking, you go to work. Ngozi, drag your son. If your mother return and you mention it, I will kill you the next day. The young lady that carried the mother's, the, the madam's picking and put inside the freezer. Do you think that uh, she was mad? No. Put the pick, put the pick inside the freezer. The child was crying. He said, you know, if I do you what your mother is doing to me, it's okay. You know why? You will, I put you where you will get cooled. Put them inside the And the, now there the child cry, 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 then cool. What do you do to your housemates? Your housemate, whether you're a boy or a girl, is somebody's wife tomorrow. Do you, do you realize that? And can become a governor. If you didn't treat her well and she finally get into authority, will she favor you? No. <laughs> she will not. My boss, sit down, sit down, son. My boss, helped me to go to school. When I arrived here in 1977, stark illiterate, I indicated interest. He said, you know what? Come to work in the morning, sign, then go to my house, clean my house, cook for me. From there, go home and go to school. And that was how I went to school. And I was earning my salary. I only resigned when we were trans I was transferred to Awuchi. It was difficult for him. There was nothing he could do, so I resigned. One day I pick a call, I pick a phone and I called my boss. And my boss had stroke. I went to his house. I wept. No television, no fridge. And look at me enjoying myself. If this man didn't give me opportunity, maybe as I come here, I said the, the fishes of the air and the and the beds of the sea. When I was wenting home, <laughs> as I was wenting home, I saw then it, the church will scatter. But this man gave me opportunity. It, this is I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this to blow myself or to impress myself. No, I'm just saying to you because he was kind to me. I went, bought fridge, bought television for him, put satellite and put him on monthly allowance for years. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. He, he gave me he became my springboard. I had already answered the call. But I mother English like a motherer. He said, no. You are too intelligent to live like this. Go to school. And there was the kind of work I was doing. There was no way I would close at five at Okwahe. Then we got here. We get here about six. Then I will use bicycle to go to Ekenwa Road. And go, go for extramoral classes. There was no way. It was a hard work, but he gave me how you treat people, create favor for you for future. Stand to your feet. Can I hear somebody shout grace? Yes. I found grace in his sight. He took and blocked the way. Nobody knew what was going on. He was the one that answered whether I came to work or not. He's the one to sign for my salary to be approved. He wasn't doing it because there was something I was going to give him. But he didn't know something like this will happen. As long as I live, as long as he's alive, I will continue.
Somebody say favor. And Nehemiah obtained favor. The king, he said to the king, my country, how can a slave be addressing a king talk, talking about the walls of Jericho and Jerusalem? She, he found favor. The king said, what do you need? He said, I needed to go. How long is it going to take you? He said, this is how long it will take me. Uh, he said, hey, but sir, if you permit me to go, can you write a letter so that those on the way will allow me to go? The king wrote a letter. Not only writing a letter, he commanded all the governors. This young man, give him all the wood, all the things he needs to build back the walls of Jerusalem. May favor speak on your behalf. You all are aware of President Jonathan that he was not the chosen one. It was favor that spoke for him. There were those who have spent money to be. And suddenly, President Abbasan John went to bring him. He was not running for, he was not dreaming, he was not praying. He was comfortable being the governor. Even the governor he was. He was that was not his prayer he was a deputy governor then the man something happened he came in and look at him from there he became the president did he pray for president to, to be a president favor can i hear somebody say favor if there was no relationship between him and Obasanjo, it will not happen Lift up your hands and begin to pray for grace. I want you to pray for more grace. He increased in favor with men and with God. I want to hear somebody pray. Lord, increase me in your favor. Let the oil of favor in me increase with you and with men, with people I work with, people ahead of me, people at my level, and people under me. Nobody, you're not praying, you're not praying. Because if you understand what I'm saying, then you will pray. Lord, hey, favor. Let grace speak to me. Let grace speak on my behalf. Let me carry grace throughout this week. Grace. Grace. Lucky creature, brother. Let somebody pray. Let somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I just wish you understood me. It was a house girl. If that house girl was not treated well, the house girl wouldn't have suggested to Naaman that there is a prophet in my village that can heal you. I don't know why God is bringing me here. Some of us are, our Christianity does not reflect on the people working with us. Doesn't. We treat people like rats. We treat people as though they are nothing. That girl you treating, that young man you treating like that, could have been you. It could have been you. It could have been you. But grace exempted you. Why not show mercy? You don't bring her during prayer time. You don't bring her. You don't even bring her to church. Communion, we are talking about seven communion. You don't even, as far as you are concerned, it's only you and your children that matters. Even when you take communion home, you won't give her. But she's the one cooking for you, washing the vegetable. No go eat or tap your pier one day. Those working under you, treat them as a human being. Talk to them as a human being. You cannot predict what will happen. 
It may not be the person, but the person's child. And the person has told the child how wicked you are. Now the child now grew up and becomes something and remember your wickedness.